I don't know. Okay, Dave has kind of got out of the drag racing business here, and now he's into uh, land speed records. This is his 1934 DeSoto Airflow. And it's straight eight Chrysler engine and supercharged. Keith wondered what our names were because we made some parts for this car. We get mentioned later. Shane Burke to the stage, please. Shane Burke. This was a car show. Should we point to it? California. Yes. There's my point. Right there. <laughs> Shit, I can't focus it. Oh, uh, there it is. Consolidated manufacturing front pulling on this world record holding supercharged straight eight. There you have it, folks. Pretty neat little car. Started. It was all the details. Keith! There's my uh, Keith. partner, Keith. Oh, oh hi, John! <laughs> all right, he got his cue that time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dave's taking the uh, Straight eight out of the. Let's pick up Out of the airport. Check it out, I got my name on the car. There's my name on the car. I don't know. Nostalgia music uh, for most of the drag strip near Bakersfield, California. Uh, I see all these cars used to run back in my day, years ago.
miles and miles of this kind of film that it would take up too much tape. <laughs>
Uh, here's Dave again at the car show in Pleasanton. Uh, he doesn't see me. I'm hiding behind the camera here. Getting shot up with his motorcycle. Shots of Dave's uh, Streamliner. It's now got a Hemi crate engine in it. It's now uh, 2000. Let's get you. Well, here I am again. It's May the 13th, year 2000. I'm with my uh, probably the last race car that I'll get around to building. Uh, I built this thing back in 1973. I drove it out here from uh, Shepherdstown, West Virginia. 2,900 miles I drove it without one breakdown. But anyhow, uh, back then I put a 421 engine in this thing, and since then I've had a 389 and a 326, and now I got a 400 cubic inch uh, 69 Pontiac with uh, 66 tri power intake and a Lenati cam, and uh, a few other modifications I figure is probably putting out. 450 horsepower somewhere around there. Later on, I'll be putting the six twos on it, but for right now, I got to keep it running because I got to move it to the other end of the shop, and I don't want to tear it down. Otherwise, I go ahead and put them on now. Uh, I just had a stroke about a month and a half ago, so if I'm leaning a little bit, that's why. But everything's starting to work again. Arms are working, so I'll be getting back on this thing pretty quick, I hope. And. Uh, I uh, wanted to get it to the track this year. I, I need a 10 second run real bad. And the lowest I went before has been 11.4. So this, this baby ought to do it, but it looks like I might have to put the plans on the shelf for a little while here yet until I get motivated and get things working better. So anyhow, uh, this is it. And uh, we'll see what happens. Bye.